He's putting on a wetsuit because it's freezing cold and we're about yeah. to check turtle traps. Good morning, everybody. It is a, it, it isn't really that cold, but it feels really cold because we're about to go swimming. Uh, but I'm out here with Greg getting yeah, ready. For yourself. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> getting ready to check some turtle traps that he set out last night while I was not helping once again. <laughs> but yeah, there's a good chance that we're both getting very cold and wet here soon. So. Um, we're gonna wait for it to warm up a little bit and then go check some traps and hopefully find some turtles You could probably mention in there since you've probably talked about it in your videos that the drought has affected the herping It's also affected the turtle trapping. It's been kind of the weirdest most off years in, in the last two or three years I've been doing it so because we just had Hurricane Helene about yeah. a month ago now yeah. where we had I mean this water was 20 feet above where it is now for about three days yeah. and now it's back to basically like this is supposed to be underwater and it's not so very weird conditions for snakes and turtles this fall Whew. i've experienced worse but i've experienced better Got one. snapper yep. already guy. trap number one Success. sure enough <laughs> sweet well that was fast yeah i'll take it all right, first trap of the day had a, uh, a very cool little juvenile alligator snapper and somebody got his hand and he's just got this gnarly little nub growing back. He's got a turtle leech on his face right there. Like I said, it is cold this morning, but these guys are used to it. They're very active in the fall and that water is, it's not nearly as cold as you would think it would be, but it's still not comfortable for a human uh, to be walking around in. But first trap was a good success. Greg is definitely getting very good at this. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it doesn't get too much better than that as a way to start the day. So we'll process this little dude, mark him since he is new. Not that uh, he's going to be easy to miss with that missing foot. But as he grows, it might change in a way that's harder to recognize. So he will get notched and then we'll put him back in the creek. That's a big one. <laughs> Underwater combat. Dude, not my favorite scenario. Oh. Okay, whatever this is in there, because I don't see it. Yep. Yep, one. big one. Right yeah. in Greg's face. <laughs> oh I didn't hit record. Oh I was recording, but it was it was not a <laughs> not a great it. angle. And here we go again. And oh my Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Here she is. This is the uh, the bigger female. We're gonna process her first. Um, a bigger female, the only female, unless the little one's a girl, but very cool. This is a, a decent sized female. They get, they get a little bigger than this, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, I've seen them bigger than this. But the, the males are generally, the, the monsters are gonna be boys, so sexually dimorphic in, in that regard. All right, turtle number two has weighed in 38 pounds. So, a little heavier than I was expecting. Nice female. Greg's going through it with the gear today. <laughs> We've had a, a dead scale, uh, uh, borderline dead pit tag reader, and now yeah. Greg is out of phone memory. So, <laughs> we're, uh, we're getting ready to let this girl go as soon as uh, Greg is able to get a couple of picks. But All right. <laughs> Into nothingness. We wanted this one. To, I wanted one deeper water set. So we'll see how we do. Okay. Yep. There we go. <laughs> another <laughs> female, like, isn't another, it? It looks like almost identical to the other one. Hello. <laughs> like these guys are just using the same turtle twice. That's a big female too. She is. I mean, it could be a young male, be a male but medium male. Yeah, it's hard to tell. All right. There he is, the biggest turtle of the day. Yep. What a beast. Here's a look at the, uh, the damage this guy has, almost certainly from fighting with another adult male alligator snapper. He's got a very, uh, a very wormy tongue, too. Look at that thing. What a guy. All right, a couple quick picks and then back to the creek with him too. Ready to get checked for hooks? <sighs> yeah, he's 
good. Clear of hooks. All right. He has avoided the fishermen. And he silted it pretty bad. <laughs> what a beast. He looks so big in the water too. All right, everyone, we're done with turtles for the day and we're starting to do some bike cruising. First find is unfortunately DOR, but it, it's a Northern ring neck. This thing has no belly pattern. But yeah, we're gonna bike cruise for a few hours and hopefully we'll see some snakes on the move. DOR ring neck pretty quickly. Looks like it was probably hit today or yesterday. Finally, a live snake. A muddy little, hello, a muddy little cotton mouth. Hey buddy, adorable. Well, I have seen far too many of these little dudes smashed today. I think I'm up to three DOR cotton mouths and one dead copperhead. Finally, feels good to get one alive. I think most of the ones that I've seen today were hit yesterday though, so hopefully the evening window today will be just as productive as it evidently was yesterday when a lot of these snakes got ran over, but very, very beautiful. He's got a little clay on him, so he'd be even cooler looking if he had uh, been dipped in the water, but this guy is making his migration from the, uh, the swamplands over there to the the more upland forest over here. So very similar situation to what we see at Snake Road where the cotton mouse moved from the swamps to the uplands during the, uh, the cooler months. So keep it going. Don't linger. Keep going. There you go. There's a little bit of moisture in the air this morning. Sweet, sweet moisture. It's been literally a month since there was even a cloud at least a cloud of any substance. And now we've got some fog. A snake on the road during the daytime in the Piedmont. What is this? But yeah, very nice little black faced red bellied snake to start off the day pretty early. Um, I honestly was not expecting to see anything until we had a pretty dramatic shift in the weather, but I'll take it. Very nice. Let's get this guy out of the road. Hello. Pretty belly as always, very stinky. Here, hang out with this Michelob. Oh, we're really doing the red-bellied snake thing today, huh? There's a nice little orange phase right after the black phase. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, this guy gets a bush. Here you go, bud. All right, everyone. Well, I have decided to call it a day cruising. It was pretty brutal out there. Two red-bellied snakes about 30 seconds apart. Another than that, nothing else all day long. And it's just now starting to get into the evening hours. It'll be getting dark here in the next hour or so. So I think we're going to actually hit the flips here at home. Haven't done that since probably Francine which was well over a month ago now. So hopefully there will be something under this tin since we haven't flipped it in such a long time. Dude, what's up? That's a nice surprise. Almost didn't see him there. Well, that is the only thing that I have seen so far. And it's extra surprising because of how dry it is. There's definitely a little bit of moisture under this piece, but it is dry enough. I don't want to mess with this guy too much, but very nice. Possibly the only thing we're going to flip this afternoon. A nice spotted salamander here at home. Actually, get this on video. There you go, bud. Very nice. That was cool. Eraser. Nice. 
first snake of the day. Are you hot yet? A little bit. Hey, buddy. Are we gonna be friendly? Friendly, right? Friendly racer. <laughs> nice. Okay, there goes the friendly. It was short-lived. Very short-lived. Okay, okay, stop. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. Well, there's our post 30 something degree overnight racer. And there's what he did to me. Well, this is a big healthy snake. Seems like he is uh, pretty active. I think I might have actually flushed him under this piece of tin when I walked up. So I will let him go before I get bit anymore. But nice looking healthy adult snake. Here you go, bud. Actually don't see too many racers here. This is the first one I've gotten under this tin. He's gonna go up under the rock. That's fine. 